Hey guys, I'm going to give you a quick run view on my uh, soft plastics. I'm going to start with the ones that uh, I used last year. Um, Berkeley Power Bait. These are the uh, pumpkin seed color. So they pretty much are the worm color. They look like a worm. They're very skinny in size. They got a twirl tail on them. They're four inches. Um, caught a few bass on these. They're a uh, pretty good bait to get. I would recommend these. These are Lucky Strikes. They're uh, blue. Uh, four inch, 15 pack. Uh, tied this on a lot last year. And never caught anything with them you get these at Walmart and the only reason why I got these is because they were like a dollar some a pack so it's like they're worth to try you know I mean I don't like the color it's uh blue and sparkly you may have luck with uh other colors so I don't know I guess you can try them for the uh, money pick yourself up a pack Um, Strike King. These are the uh, sh Shimmy Stick, Shimmy Stick, eight pack, uh, Sweet Tater Pie. These ones, uh, you can rig them a lot of different ways, just like any other worms. They're really thick. It's an eight pack. Um, they still don't say the length on them. I don't know why. But I had a. Uh, Unbelievably, actually, they smell like a uh, black licorice. Um, I had a lot of luck on these. Uh, caught some really big bass with them. I never caught a small one with them. That's what I loved about these ones. Uh, caught some really thick bass, and uh, the strikes were uh, very quick and uh, brutal. I guess you could say it wasn't like you know. They're heavy salt and super soft. That's what I loved about these two. They're really, really soft. You can uh, put the uh, hook in the back and hide the hook so you can make it really weedless. But you don't have to worry about uh, setting the hook too hard because that hook will tear right through the back and into the fish's mouth. This is a very highly recommended uh, soft plastic. Um, craw bug from Yum. Uh, pumpkin seed pepper green 10 pack. Uh, I normally use these uh, Carolina rig in a, a jig trailer. Very good jig trailer. I haven't been able to find these anywhere. Uh, I found them finally at a store. They are a uh, yum ribworm 4 inch Ozark smoke 15 pack. This is what I caught most of uh, my bass on last year. Uh, the only problem I have with them is they're not too durable because of the way they're made. Like you put a uh, you you put the hook in it a few times after a fish uh, bites it, so you have to uh, re rig it and stuff. It only lasts about uh, I guess you could get uh, two out of a good day of fishing. You could use two out of a good day of fishing. They uh, tear pretty easy, so uh, be careful when you're rigging them. And very good uh, soft plastic. <clears throat> I think that's all I had last year. That's all I used last year, and uh, I'll show you some of my new stuff that I plan on using this year. Last year was a tough year for me. I couldn't really get what I wanted, but this year came through a little bit. I saved up money over winter. Got some uh, baits I wanted. This is a power bait. Midnight Fire. 7 inch worm. Seven and a half inch ribbon tail worm. Uh, June Bug. This seems like it's going to work good. Now these things, I have tried them before. 
These are great. They're uh, Skeet Reese design, Pit Boss, 4 inch. More compact bait for uh, pitching and flipping. I'm going to use these for uh, jig trailers. They're uh, uh, the uh, double tail. Um, creepy crawler tail, they're called. Root beer, pepper green color. 16 pack. They're basically uh, a twister tail with two tails. Use them for uh, jig trailers. And here's some uh, yum rib worms. This is uh, green pumpkin color. This is uh, Cabela's... Um, Bass beaver, they're uh, three inches, and these are really small. And uh, I'm gonna have to use a one aught hook with these. And they have a a, a tail where you can uh, cut down the middle to make it two, or you can just leave it like one one flapper. Pretty neat. And they got two little legs that come in uh, that the little flapper sits in between. These are uh, twister tails, there's a uh, double tailed. And, uh, single tailed uh, twister tails. Double tailed twister tails. Uh, smoke, sparkle, black flake. I try to keep my uh, soft plastics natural. I try not to get anything too colorful. I like white, that's about it, and then uh, pumpkin, uh, your pumpkin colors and your dark colors. This is a uh, flapping cross green pumpkin blue. Another uh, power bait ribbon tail, just got the green tail on them, same thing. Then you gotta get the ones without the tail, I love the ones without the tail, they all, they've always seen the work when uh, fish are a little bit more finicky. And uh, a little bit less active. The uh, these ones work. This is a yum dinger June bug. Like I said, I like to try to keep my baits natural. Mm, these ones are awesome. I got these for two ninety nine at a store I know. And this store is awesome. Like it's a it's a gun store in town, and they always have uh, good fishing goods. Like they have this bin you can just like get four for five or whatever. This is a fifteen pack four inch. Um, dingers. These are the four inch kind, and you get a 15 pack for $2.99. Great. Some more of them lucky strikes that you buy at Walmart. I got a, a darker color. I'm gonna, uh, I'm actually gonna look forward to using these, see what they uh, do, and I'll definitely get back to you guys on this one. This is the, uh, the blue ones that didn't work for me last year. I didn't catch anything on them. So I'm gonna, come back to you on that color. Here's some lizards. I like to use lizards. They're just a different bait and I like to use them. This is a don't say the color on here. It's a good bait to use them. You got your perfect plastics in KVD. This is the uh, eight pack the watermelon red flake. Good color. Good bait. And then more zoom uh, double twelves for uh, double tails for jigging for my jigs. Can't really see them because they're dark. Uh, peanut butter jelly or green pumpkin. Sorry, green pumpkin purple. Got to have your senkos too. I just want to have more shit. Oh, here's some uh, brown senkos. This is a uh, three inch. I like the three inches a lot, especially in uh, winter. If you ever go winter bassing, I know it's tough and it's a pain in the ass. Uh, definitely get some uh, three inch senkos. Try to minimize your baits in the winter time, make them smaller. And they also work great when water's cold, no matter what. Like if it's uh, early spring, use them too. They're great. And uh, yeah, these ones are uh, blue pearl silver flake. Good baits to get, guys. I think that's all my uh, soft plastics. Yeah, I think so. Like I said, I don't try to get anything too colorful. Um, if you if you're trying to save money, try to get the uh, more natural colors, dark colors. Like right, this is Jake. I'm probably going to get off here now.
Thanks for watching.